Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? That exhaust looks cool coming out. Dude, that exhaust looks awesome coming out there. This is going to be our blown diffuser. Is it, is it called a blown diffuser because it has exhaust running through it? Yes. The exhaust is going to make the car accelerate faster. Yes. I think that's because this mounts here, so it's not a Still getting this fabbed up. Yeah, we leave in three days. Because this is where it was running, not down here, but up in there. There's a lot of steps in this down So that tire I'll send it to A little work left to do still. We got John though on it, Mr. Downforce. Getting her done. Just a few few short days, and then we gotta head out to Atlanta. Leaving on Wednesday night. And we're also still waiting on the tow rods to come in. Hey. That's what you need. And tread. You need tread. And you don't have any. No, no, no. This is what it does. It gets the water gets out through that channel there. So this one won't be a bad rain tire. Huh? You say it's a great rain tire, but it won't be a bad rain tire. If you say so. <laughs> this is a bad rain tire. Nowhere for a disket. Nowhere. So what I was thinking, if that tire will work on the rear, worst case scenario, we can call around discount tire in uh, Atlanta. And we can get a R triple eight R for the front. Right. And run that one in the back. I don't know. How about how about you just do a rain dance so it doesn't rain? Yeah, that's, that's, well, that's why I'm not gonna buy any tires. What do you think of the car, Andrew? Badass. Can't wait to see it in Atlanta. Are you pumped? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been to Atlanta? Once. Once. Twice. Once, twice, three times lady. Who's that? It's Bradimus. Do you bring kolaches? Because I'm starving. A little, a little baby extension. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Like or that. we can do a full extension. It's up to you. I like yeah. to start, start down here. Yeah. I'll do it like a whole, yeah. Trying to incorporate whatever these things are supposed to be. <laughs> like that. Oh, howdy, howdy. Bradley Eggers. I actually like the other one. Team driver? Well, I drive. Slash mascot? Sure. So <laughs> It does look good. We have no idea if we're doing this correctly. It does stick out a lot. Right now that's a lethal weapon. If you start with the wide start wide here and tapers to here. Right. That actually causes the air to accelerate if it goes past right. pulling air for We want fast moving air, smat fast smooth air on the bottom. So we are doing it right. Yeah. Well, we need thicker material and it would need to be tapered to actually be well, that would be, but, yeah. it would be too heavy for this. Oh yeah, we would have to use like a we would have to make them out of carbon fiber or something. Or fiberglass. Carbon so fiber. Like, <clears throat> do them like that. We could actually do that. Not in time for this, but eventually you could. Because you could take those that you made for this and then just lay um, fiberglass on them. Yeah. Uh, down to the wire, just a few more days, and we're still fabricating. So, you know we're going to have to pull this thing off. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we pulled this thing off like 20 No, times I mean to put the tow rods on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tow rods. When if the they ever come in. on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just put it up there to. Uh, oh, and we'll have to have it off to align it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Alignment. That's why we. That's why I made it for uh, with screws so we can take it off, put it back on fairly quick, or easy. Or there. So, well, it looks good, John. Thanks, man. Getting there. Or should I say, Mr. Downforce? Right. They're gonna ship out. Oh, I'm sorry. They did not ship out yesterday. But they're gonna ship out today. And they ended up shipping out on Friday. So we'll have them on Wednesday. So the plan now is to have this thing sitting on the alignment rack, front end already aligned, 
as soon as the tow rods come in on Wednesday, I haul ass from my house down here with tow rods in hand. We slap them on, align the rear, put it on the trailer, and go to Atlanta. Plan. Well, you know what they say, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> so. You got ramps and stuff to get her up on the trailer? So that's no. That's the other thing we got to figure out. <laughs> there are ramps. But. They're not ramps. They're just blocks. It's just like a, it's just a metal block. It's square. It doesn't taper at all. <laughs> They're like cool. three inches long, so like the angles are like 90 degrees. Yeah, they, uh, gonna it's going to be... Because we're going to get uh, three of us on that side, three of us on this side. We're going to pick go. it gonna up. going to lift that bitch up there. Yeah, you're going to have to get some 2 by 12s yeah. like at least 10 feet tall, and we're going to have to thicken them up. To well, that's why I said, there. that's why I got the winch, so we don't have to drive it or push it up. I'll have Good. the winch so we can pull it up. I just got to mount the winch in front of the truck. I've got the winch. It's in the truck. I just haven't mounted it yet. So, yeah, there's still You have, uh, hold still, hold still. What? You got glitter in your hair. Thank you. Or it's aluminum. It's called race dust. <laughs> it's the magic dust that makes the car go fast. It's the, yeah, it's the, it's the race god fairy dust. Well, hopefully this all comes together. <laughs> Otherwise, we just spend a lot of time and money for nothing. I just hope it doesn't rain. That's... Hey, stop saying that word. So, 40% uh, chance of rain on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, all that so that'll be nice. Does. Well, that's like it was, was here this past week in Dakota. It was pouring down rain, and, and then the sun came out. And then the sun came out for Saturday yeah, and Sunday. Race day. Well, what uh, Daryl Walter always says is that again. you get enough people going around the track, it creates a vortex and keeps the clouds away. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> yep, coming together nicely. That'll cut a few seconds off the time, I'm sure. No more parachute. Just slow us down. Yeah. A few moments later. All right, so it's a couple days later. Finally got the diffuser finished up. Looks insane. Still got to do the final paint paint job. It's just kind of mocked up there for now. Some paint done. This is a good angle. You can see how it's going to be a blown diffuser. You can see where the exhaust is exiting. So it's always going to have a current pushing air out of these fins here, which will create a low pressure zone under the car, which in turn creates downforce. So a nice little touch. Let's see underneath it here. Then looking at the front leading edge, it's kind of hard to see. It's up against the uh, suspension as much as we can. There are some little pockets there where air could get trapped. We'll see what we can do. We'll probably create a uh, little door for this area here. And then probably duct tape whatever we can so this is the splitter we installed for time attack last time and the whole idea of the splitter and the diffuser is to smooth out the airflow under the car so you can see the splitter here is flat and with our rules we can't do the splitter past the front axle so the unlimited cars have flat bottoms where it goes all the way back but air will flow from the front splitter underneath the car to the back of the car will be channeled through the diffuser which will help smooth it out speed it up create that little pressure zone then we'll exit behind the car and that along with the BFW the big freaking wing should give us Quite a bit of downforce made quite a few changes since coda so hopefully these all work out and we'll see how it does in the rain the rain if it does rain and we were out there it should be really interesting because we'll be able to see very clearly how the flow under the car looks with the water uh, but this is uh kind of our first attempt at a diffuser 
It's all built in house here at Raul's Automotive by Mr. Downforce over there. Oh, oh, there he is. If anybody has any uh, suggestions, if they know what they're talking about, we're always uh, open to ideas, but it looks like a freaking weapon. Worst case scenario, we're just gonna run in reverse and uh, run into everybody, just mow them down. That's about it. We're needing uh, a couple pieces from BMR that never showed up, so we'll probably have to skip that. Just need to give it an alignment. And we'll be good to go. We're leaving for Atlanta tomorrow around 10 p.m. Unfortunately, the weather is supposed to do this all week. From here to Atlanta, something like an 80% chance of thunderstorms every day we're there, so that's awesome. Trying to pilot a 700 wheel horsepower Camaro in the rain. Will be super interesting for Scott. Luckily, I don't have to drive it. But we do have a set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's that we're gonna use for any rain contingencies. I have no idea how those will perform with the extra power we've added in the wet. It'll be uh, interesting for sure. But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, we leave tomorrow, like I said, I'll be filming that. Get that some videos of that next week. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting all weekend with the results how the car does. And if this is your first time stopping in, please subscribe, take care, have a great day.